Since the first atomic bomb was tested near Alamogordo, New Mexico, in July 1945, test explosions have occurred regularly. Most are as planned, but there have been others even more unusual, mysterious or horrific than the existence of such a weapon. Before I get to the topic of the video, I want to thank everyone who subscribed to my new Visioner History channel. There I post very interesting and shocking videos on interesting topics. The link to the channel is in the description and in the upper right corner. Well, we continue. The Unexpected Funnel in 1984, the Midas myth, Legend of Midas, underground nuclear explosion was carried out in the Nevada desert. The operation was a success, but three hours later when the team began to coil the cables going into the borehole, the ground suddenly collapsed, creating a massive crater 100 meters wide and 5 deep. Taken by surprise, the personnel were injured, from which one of the technicians later died. Operation Crossroads a series of nuclear tests in 1946 was a joint project of the U.S. Army and Navy. To avoid exposing pilots to the risk of contamination, the military used drones. The Navy used a Grumman F-6F Hellcat fighter and the Army used the famous Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress. This was the first time drones flew through clouds from a nuclear explosion. Radioactive dust storms over Xinjiang from 1960 to 1980, the Chinese government conducted a series of above-ground nuclear tests in the Xinjiang Desert, now Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. A mass of radioactive particles rose into the air and then descended on nearby towns and villages. The radiation background exceeded the level on the roof of the Chernobyl reactor at the time of the accident, more than 100,000 people died from the consequences of the tests. Yet, unaware of the danger of radiation, many sincerely rejoiced at the power of Chinese weapons. Kodak and Operation Trinity Fact 1, film is sensitive to radiation. Fact 2, cardboard is used in film production and packaging. Except that cardboard tends to phonate, it's highly susceptible to radiation, so in 1945 to 1949 Kodak specialists knew pretty well where nuclear tests were conducted, several of their factories started sending in contaminated cardboard. The shipments from the Indiana factory remained clean, and when radioactive material began to arrive from it as well, the company designed and installed radiation filters on the air intakes of the factories. Nuclear Beer in response to numerous questions about the contamination of drinks after a probable nuclear war, the U.S. government conducted a special test. Cans and bottles of beer, soda and mineral water were placed near the epicenter of the explosion, the nearest one being 300 meters away. After testing the 30 kiloton bomb, the scientists checked the remaining unharmed containers and only the closest ones were slightly contaminated, and that was within normal limits. In addition, the radiation slightly affected the taste of the beer. Operation Argus In 1958, the only top-secret above-ground nuclear test was conducted on the coast of South Africa under the auspices of the U.S. government. It tested the theory of physicist Nicholas Christophilos that nuclear explosions in space would create a ring of charged particles around the Earth. Three rockets were launched to an altitude of 160, 293 and 750 kilometers, and the theory was fully confirmed. Atomic Tank In August 1953, the object of a nuclear test was a Centurion tank placed 450 meters from the epicenter. To the considerable surprise of the military, the tank survived the 9 kiloton explosion with only minor damage. If the crew had been in it, it would have died but the vehicle would have remained fully operational. A couple of days later the tank was decontaminated and subsequently used in Vietnam, where it safely withstood a direct hit from a handheld anti-tank grenade launcher. The Last Bomb of Semipalatinsk From 1961 to 1989 underground nuclear tests were carried out in Semipalatinsk. And the last bomb, the USSR was going to explode there in 1991, a crumb of 0.3 kilotons to test the resistance of military equipment to radiation. But in the same year Kazakhstan gained independence, and the bomb remained buried 125 meters underground. Only four years later, a team of Russian and Kazakh sappers defused the dangerous Cold War relic. Charlton Heston's Top Secret Work 
nuclear test films had one serious problem, terrible voiceovers. One of the scientists jokingly suggested that Oscar-winning actor Charlton Heston be hired to do the voiceover, and to everyone's surprise, management did so. Heston accepted the job for nothing, and the films he voiced, highly technical and therefore extremely boring, aroused considerable interest, though they were kept as secret as possible. The Uranium Hydride Bomb In 1939 Robert Oppenheimer suggested that the uranium hydride bomb could be a revolutionary nuclear weapon, creating a self-sustaining chain reaction with low critical mass uranium. In the 1950s, the creator of the hydrogen bomb, Edward Teller, developed the technology for such a bomb. Tests were conducted in March of 1953 and failed completely. The explosion could not even destroy the tower on which the charge was located. Although the subsequent test was more successful, the revolutionary bomb was abandoned. I thank you for watching. Your support is very important to me. Your comments and thumbs up motivate me to release new videos on interesting topics. Subscribe and turn on notifications. See you in the new videos.